So I had a thought during my practice this morning that I wanted to share with you because I know a lot of players right now are having a lot of difficulty with law number one, the law of presence. And again, as a reminder, the law of presence states that performance increases as thought decreases. And a lot of players are just having a ton of trouble with overthinking. And actually, one of the reasons that I'm seeing that players are having trouble with this and why you might be having trouble with it is because you don't trust the game to happen in the way that you're hoping it will happen if you let go of the mind. You're thinking that your mind will actually be able to control and manipulate the game. And if you stop thinking, then you're going to start making a ton of mistakes and the game's not going to go your way. And ultimately, nothing could be further from the truth. And so I had this quick memory come up this morning where, uh, believe it or not, this sounds a little bit weird, but I actually used to do these advanced meditation retreats where we would meditate all night. So throughout, uh, it would start at like 8 p.m. or so and go until um, till morning, essentially. And we would meditate in the dark. It would be a group of really advanced practitioners. And we do these meditations in the dark in a room. And these are incredibly powerful. Um, I know it may sound a little bit strange, but there is something here for you uh, that it, it really, really struck me because it, inevitably throughout the night, it's this long, long meditation. Eventually, you're going to have to go to the bathroom or whatever. And so we, I, every time I would leave the room, I'd go out into the hallway, which was lit, uh, go to the bathroom and come back. I would re-enter this dark room and I would have to find my way back to my place without bumping into and disturbing anybody. And the weirdest thing started to happen. Every time <laughs> that I would uh, quiet my mind down, and normally I was in kind of a, a really quiet state of mind anyway from the meditation, if I would quiet my mind down and just trust my instinct, I would always find my way perfectly back to my place. It was so weird. And I started to realize that our instinct and how intelligent our instinct actually is. Remember, for thousands of years, we used this instinct to survive out in the wild and make sure that like, without this instinct, humanity wouldn't even exist. We would have gone extinct by now. So this instinct is a incredibly evolved, incredibly intelligent. And what blocks our instinct, what I found is that if I would be thinking and analyzing and trying to map my way back to my space logically, I would bump into people, I would get lost. One day, one night I actually got all the way over on the other side of the room in between two people hit the wall and didn't know where I was. I didn't know what direction to go in. I was so lost. It made such a big mess that I had to like somehow call for a flashlight and get it. It was just this huge disturbance. And it was all because I was thinking too much. So if I just let my instinct take over, I would perfectly find my way back. And I would be willing to bet that in all of your best games, this is the state of mind that you're in, where your mind is so quiet that the game is happening instinctively and automatically. You're not thinking and analyzing and trying to control it with your mind. It's just happening fluidly and automatically. Again, instinctively. It's like an animal in the wild rather than a person at a desk solving a math equation, right? It's more, it's more of the human animal coming out. And on the flip side, during the games that aren't going as well as you're, you're hoping for, your mind, we've all had this experience where your mind is so loud and telling you all of these things that you should or shouldn't be doing and wondering like what the people watching are thinking about you and thinking about every other thing other than what's going on in the moment during the game. And so trust your instinct to take over. And that instinct is more highly evolved than our human mind. And if you actually go through the like scientific facts of this, we evolved as like humanity went from, um, you know, lizard to chimpanzee to human, that animal lizard brain evolved first, the chimp brain evolved second, and then the human cortex evolved third. So we have this like instinctive animal at the base, which is the most highly evolved because it's been evolving for the longest period of time. And then we have this sort of chimpanzee brain on top of that, which is our um, emotion and interconnectedness with our species. And then on top of that, the least evolved is actually the logical analytical brain, which is the one that we pay the most attention to in our society today. And so if you look at this from an evolutionary standpoint, of course, 
course, the more intelligent, um, the more highly evolved centers of the brain are going to be the most intelligent. And of course, our instinct is going to know what to do in those situations where really fast decisions have to happen, like during a basketball game. All right. So trust your instinct to take over. Trust your instinct to take over. Your logical analytical mind is happening way too slow. It's just going to confuse you on the basketball court. Trust your instinct to take over. Hey, it's Taylor. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And if you did, the best thing to do right now while it's fresh in your mind is to head over to deepgame.com and join us in our free masterclass. Now, this is where you'll learn all eight laws of the deep game and all of the fundamentals that you need to know about the part of basketball that's played with the mind. We've had players call this the best hour of basketball learning of their lives, and it's completely free right now. So head over to deepgame.com to join us, and I will see you there.